So, good news today, everyone. Good news. I know this news is a bit late, but the video took ages to upload and other things going on. So, we should give a massive appreciation to Edinburgh and Bristol City Council. So, we're going to be talking about Bristol City Council and Edinburgh City Council. We'll talk about Edinburgh at the end. They didn't do just as bad job, but they did, they did good on this time. And this is going to be the only time I'm going to appreciate City Councils on something. And probably the only time I'll mention these two councils ever again, unless they piss me off somehow. So, what happened with Bristol? Because this was the main story. Bristol City Council, that big statue they put on, uh, or the medium-sized council, statue they put onto the Edward Coulson statue, that got taken down 24 hours after the thing got placed there. Well done to them. Well done. Thank you for not bending your knee to the fucking mob. And I was wrong, okay? I was wrong. I admit I was wrong. The fact that the mob didn't go nuts, the fact that the mob didn't go do anything, the fact that the city council actually had some balls and said, this shouldn't be here. Bristol, he must have got, the mayor must have got a heap of phone calls saying, what the fuck is this statue doing here? And it got chucked out in the next day. It didn't even last 24 hours. How fucking hilarious. I thought that was fucking amazing when I woke up the that morning and just saw, statue's gone. It's getting chucked straight to a skip. <laughs> fucking great. It's like, nah, this is trash. Chuck it in the skip. That's fucking great, guys. It's great. And it was a thing I forgot to mention about the video. Uh, the Black Power thing, the one with food's uh, fist up in the air, that's the Black Panthers. Don't support the Black Panthers. The Black Panthers are not a good thing. They are a militia group like the, the NFCA. Pretty much a fascist version of the Black Lights movement. Oh, it was actually that's pretty long to mention to say they're Black Lives. Um, the like those two groups, they are militia groups, and all the intent is is to kill white people. These are militia groups, and they are fucking dangerous people. They are not things to be happy about. And that signal up in the air—if you put your fist up in the air, fuck you, because that's what you're associating with. As long if you are associating with the communists. The fascists get the fuck. There was no need for that statue being there in the first place. We know Edward Coulson was in all perfect. Not what all slave traders were. Some people liked it. Some people don't. We don't fucking care. But if you want to try and figure out what kind of these uh, Black Panther people are, well, let's go take a look at what the NFCA was like in America just a few days ago. This, I think, this was the same day Donald Trump did the Fourth of July message. But you should take a look at this guy. Uh, gets a last from his car, and this guy who apparently is uh, associated with FC, NFCA, sorry, I'm going to get these let letters mixed up. You should see how they react. Black power. Black love, black love. This ain't the one you want to talk to, bro. We ain't no Black Lives Matter. We ain't none of that bullshit. Go ahead. We're Black Militia from shit. It's your worst nightmare. Go ahead. We're Black Militia, bro. Leave me alone, dude. Let me talk to the mic for a minute. What are you? I just told you what I was. What are you? What are you with the question? Everywhere you go, you invade, steal, rape, rob, and kill us. Oh, really? Then you steal people's culture. Then you have the nerve to have an attitude about it. Where's our reparations? Thank you. 
I'm cussing about that. I like the song. What though. did I do to you? It's not what you did. What the answer oh, people did. So, so you're, and you're oh, benefiting. Oh, 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 you benefited oh, from man. Go ahead with that white denial. Before you lose your life. I ain't gonna get in this with y'all. Fuck y'all, my face. Let hell. Let hell. is very simple. We follow a declaration of of liberation declaring every African-American descendant of slavery a political prisoner here in the United States and that was affected by the Portuguese slave trade. And then after that, the United States has a choice. Either A, carve us a piece of land out here, we'll take Texas and let us do our own thing, or don't stop us when we exit this out of here and go somewhere where they will give us our own land to build our own nation. What is your name and what is the... I'm the official Grand Master J. I created the NFAC. All right, and how long have the organization been in existence? We don't give that information out. Right, Just how we'll tell you this, we're all ex-military. We're all very disciplined. We're all expert shooters. We don't want to talk no more. We don't want to negotiate. We don't want to sing songs. We don't bring signs to a gunfight. We're an eye for an eye organization. So when they decide to act right, Last the solution... Yeah, uh, these guys are a nasty piece of work, and you guys want to support them, that's fine. But don't fucking come to me or any of us nationalists if you want to take that black power situation in our hands. Anyway, we should maybe talk about the Edinburgh City Council, because they have done something good as well. Not quite like what happened in Bristol, because it didn't get talked about as much. But they had an issue where the Edinburgh City Council, where they had a massive statue, a huge statue of Hedley... Henley Douglas, a uh, massive uh, column, it's a big thing that sits in Edinburgh, and they finally decided what they're going to do with it, because there was a committee where they were discussing if it should be taken down, because all the Scottish people are very somehow offended of a slave trader, and the, S the Scottish Parliament have recommended they should take it down, because it look, inspires all the racism and the hatred, we, maybe we should show you the Scottish government telling everyone that Scotland is racist. You know, that's a good idea. Let's go and show you that before we continue. We often pride ourselves on presenting Scotland as an open and welcoming place to live and work, and evidence can be found to support this. But that does result in us intentionally or otherwise downplaying or hiding the racism that does exist. Our prison statistics show that you are twice as likely to be a prisoner if you are a person of an ethnic background. And while that's not necessarily true of Scotland, there are still issues we need to face. In 2010, the Scottish public was asked if Scotland would lose its identity if more black and Asian people moved here, and 45% of respondents said yes. Perhaps we are less open and welcoming than we like to think. And we're all making these speeches today in a parliament that's 21 years old, but it's only elected four black and minority ethnic members. I'm very proud to say that in the wee county that I represent, Clackmannanshire, we have more Syrian refugees per head than virtually anywhere else in Scotland. But I can't pretend that they've not been subjected to racism since they've come uh, to this country. The, our privilege is at the expense of the rights and opportunities denied to others because we live in an unequal and unfair society. Anyone watching in horror from, from 4,000 miles away and thinking that Scotland is not racist Anyone thinking that our institutions and structures, that our Scottish society is fair and equal would be wrong. No blacks, no Irish, no dogs has been replaced by no fats, no femmes, no Asians. Racist signs replaced by racist memes. Let us all get our house in order. You cannot purport to fight for the rights of one minority whilst ignoring the plight of another was the systemic institutional racism, the racism born of privilege and unconscious bias that hurt them the most. Some of those structural inequalities that are built into Scotland today. Because it's critical that people understand the legacy of slavery, the legacy of racism that surrounds us all, the wealth that it accumulated and how that has perpetrated, perp uh, perpetuated uh, inequality and injustice in society and Scotland in particular uh, today. And let's not pretend that Scotland had no relationship with the Ku Klux Klan. Yeah, we're so racist. We're so racist, we like comedy and free speech too. That's weird, that. So, um, the council decided to take a issue if, if they're going to, maybe, is it going to be taken down or if it was going to be put up or, like, you know, something else was a place or put a plaque up. Well, 
They've came up with a decision, and it was probably the best decision for the statue. Another win for the statues, everyone. <laughs> An award for Edinburgh City Council for saying they have made a plaque, and they have now left a plaque outside of the statue to tell everyone what this guy did. Okay, it's a bit sad the fact that they've uh, got to tell everyone what the guy did and all, but Kinnis, I prefer that than the statue being taken down because of angry mob or angry SGWs. There is no worse way than Scotland to go the way it is if it was just going to be said, hey, they're racist, they're Scottish, fuck them, take down that statue because we're ashamed of our history. Fuck you. Thank you to the committee that was down in Edinburgh to not take down the statue and instead put a plaque up. We know Henley and Edward are both bad people for doing the slave trade, but we shouldn't take down our statues. There is no way we should take down statues. The only way we learn from history is by being very aware of our past. Yes, looking back at the past isn't very really good. I went to Auschwitz. It wasn't good the fact that I saw where nearly 6 million people died. Not a good thing to watch. But at least we know how from that position on how not to do it again. How not to enslave our, our entire race just because they're different skin colored. Not to embrace bad traits. How to not to embrace what the old empire's bad traits were despite those many good traits and bad traits too. But we can't focus on the past and recommend it to today's standards. There is no way that would ever work. It's kind of like making the new Green Deal in the USA in New York City. You're going to have to take down every building in New York City just to go to the standards that Bill wants to pass. So that's all I want to talk about. I'd like to mention a wee thing about... There's a wee page I'd like you to follow, guys. There's an Instagram and a Facebook page for it. It's called Restoration Britain. It is not a political party move. I am not on the status of that. I want to get a massive following before I might consider that option. I am thinking of joining a political party just to be a member of it because I'm getting fed up of my free speech being taken away from me and so on and so on. Many things I think we as a community could do together. So, in that aspect, Restoration Britain, the Facebook page. The Facebook page is designed to have many groups of people together for many different reasons. There's one called a crime prevention group where we want to get as much people involved as possible so we can say, hey, there's something going on down there so that kid doesn't have to go into criminals, you know, go into criminal acts, selling drugs and all. We may, must make sure all the children go out there. There's even a group I want to make sure so the community is together again. So we want to talk about statues. Women must protect our statues, our history, our monasteries, our churches and landmarks. We must protect them all because we must remember what our people gave us before and we must respect that history. Fucking hell, there's a group in Scotland called Historic Scotland for fuck's sake. You know, designed to look after all these old buildings. We must help as a community together. The idea of Restoration Britain is a community page, community hub and a British proudness. If you want to join us, we are going to create a uh, groups, a website, and all so you can be a member and make sure you're patriotic. You know, we'd be proud to be British. There's nothing wrong with it. If you want to be British, be proud of it. If you want to be Scottish, that's fine. If you want to be Northern Irish, that's fine. If you want to be English, that's fine. If you want to be Welsh, that's fine. But be proud as a Brit too, because we have done so much good in the world. And we have actually advanced the world in so many ways within the last hundred years. We have just helped the world go that bit further. So thank you guys and I'll see you in the next one. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video to the very end. That means I'm excellent for this channel. I mean, if you want to support this channel even further, please be sure to like, share and subscribe this video or the channel in any other sort of way. And if you want to support this channel even further than that, which would be appreciated anyway, please be sure to click any links below for alternative means where we can get more content out to you guys. And the number 
Hail the Empire.